gonna go live here. And All right. I believe we are live. Yes, we are. Well, welcome to Breathe Life Ministries expert interviews. And I have doctors Carol and Gerald Irving here, and they are multi-talented individuals. You have the Sounds of Imani, which is your music ministry. Then you have your nonprofit, and you have your radio and television ministry. Yes. Yes. Okay. And just prior to us coming online, we were talking about this amazing worship song that you as the Sounds of Imani put out. It just recently was released, correct? What was the release date of that? Um, actually, it was September the 26th, 2020. Okay. Okay. So just before the new year. Yes. yes. Very good. And it is called Come Praise the Lord, correct? That's right. correct. Yes. And I've just got to ask you, how many songs had you, you'd written before this, this particular song? Oh, oh. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> we, a lot. Yes, yeah, yeah. we actually have a lot of songs. Um, we had a full CD back in 2002. In full, I mean, just a, more than five songs on it. We had right. uh, 10 right. songs on that CD. Um, but we have a host of, of music material that hasn't even been put really? out yet. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that is very, that's near and dear to my heart because I've done music ministry myself and um, I've written some music myself. And so when, you know, it's being able to talk with you about your music and then, and then of course, you know, back in Oregon, I have a lot of friends who also were songwriters and music ministers as well. So I'm ex really excited about this element of your ministry um talk a little bit about this song come praise the lord because there is a pretty significant story attached to this song correct yeah yeah you know uh, the song is about you know giving god praise uh when you know the, the first lyrics of it say when i think about all the things that you've done for me uh -huh. you know and, and it just goes on and on it, it elaborates on worshiping god thanking god for all the things that he have done for us and our life and going through the covert and things like that uh right. being a blessing we wanted to have a song that would make people dance and be happy about praising god you know because the virus has put everybody on the down slope uh -huh. so we wanted to bring yes. on the up spirit and let them know hey even though we're going through we can still praise god and right you know give him the glory right right and when you recorded this and you know you touch on a really important element that covid was you know still going pretty strong at that point and um there was still a lot of uncertainty attached yeah. and when we choose to praise during those times mm -hmm. there is a significant shift Talk a little bit about that in, in your experience. Well, you know, when you're, when you're down and you, uh, you know, like David did, David prays. Right. We, we, our our mm -hmm. hearts is about praising God and, mm -hmm. you know, there's healing and praising. Mm -hmm. There's okay. uplifting and anointing and praising. So, you know, I, and we, we're, sounds like Imani, Imani means faith. Mm -hmm. So I it's love like it. faith walk for us is what we've been doing ever since we met, you know. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and that was a faith walk. Uh, that was definitely a faith walk uh, period of time yeah. uh, during COVID because right. uh, he was very ill in March of 2020. And I think that's when ev everything started hitting really big around March. Yeah. Yes. And, um, so, you know, he was hospitalized for about a whole month. Um, I, I, I had COVID, but I didn't have it bad at, 
as that. I think the most I had was a slight fever and, and then I lost my uh, smell and taste for mm -hmm. about a week or so. Right. But he yeah. was in the hospital for about a month um, and had, ex you know, had yeah, blood right. clots and yeah, couldn't walk, breathing, uh, breathing issues that the virus had caused. Right. Wow. So once he got out of the hospital, we, you know, you know, God just laid on our hearts to bring something to the people that would encourage them. So once he got kind of where he could walk and get on his feet and stuff like that, you know, we went on and said, okay, let's work on this video. Let's work on this, this, yeah. this video for the song, because the people really need to yes. encourage because there was so much death, so much devastation, uh and people needed something to uplift them so we right and working on that song on the video the and, video part of yeah, it yeah and you know right. matter of fact i had recently hadn't been too long getting out of the hospital yep. right right video you know so all the while while i was in there i was just praying you know right. prayer got me through it i prayed yes. for verses i pray for all the people that are going through and right today we're still praying you know because yes. prayer is power in prayer That's right. i think it's important to note too that we could have been a debbie and donald downer you know yes. but, but we chose to rejoice instead even in spite of all of that turmoil that we had experienced uh for that month of march and pretty much april um right. chose yeah, to praise it, god right it, it was oh uh, that's and that is, um, that can be a real battle in those times because sometimes it becomes so, um, so dark all around you that you can't see your hand in front of your face. Yeah. And what was, so you praised, what was your anchor to hold you on to that praise during that time? Well, you know, I was, our faith, our right? faith yeah. and, uh, Lord, mm -hmm. I, you didn't bring me this far to lead mm -hmm. me. You said, ask me and uh, give me your burden and I'll make them light. And those are things that was coming into my spirit. Uh, let me know that the Lord said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, you know, even in your hardest times, you know, so uh, continue to, to trust me, trust God yeah. and he, he will bring you through. Oh, yeah. very good. Going to the day that you actually shot the video for this song, what was in your heart and on your mind as you were as you were doing this video? You know, for me, I was praising God on the inside, you know, right. for mm -hmm. bringing me that far to be able to do what we were doing in the video. You know, I, mm -hmm. yours was all inside of me. You know, I'm just praising God, you know, says, Lord, thank you. Thank you for sparing my life. You know, thank right. you for loving on me the way you do, you know. And, yes. Yeah. And just having the uh, urban background kind of oh, made yes. us feel, uh, you know, because we could have did something where we were in this big, exquisite place and everybody's dancing and stuff like that. But we, you know, chose the, to do the, the urban backdrop, um, you know, to you know, just kind of include everybody in right. what we were doing and right. the joy that we want to spring uh, from that into the, the urban areas, into yes. who, yes. whoever you are, wherever you may be from. We just want to reach people and bring that joy and let that joy just extend out to where it needs it, to go. And, you know, it definitely did. That video is very powerful. Uh, where can people find that video? Um, because it is something I really believe people need to see. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes. It's available on YouTube. Um, okay. well, yeah, it's, it's on YouTube. And okay. if anybody wants to purchase it, mm -hmm. we do okay. have it on our website that where they can purchase it from our website. On the Sounds of Imani website. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Then I'll put it in the comments okay. yes. for this video so that yes. they can, yes. they can find it. www.soundsofimani.com Soundsofimani.com mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. And we just before we started this live, we were talking about there's kids dancing in this video and they are spectacular. Yes, they are. And 
you were sharing how you came to find these kids. Yes. Let, let's let let's describe that. <laughs> yeah. In one way, I, I think about it, how Nehemiah, you know, when he come to reveal and how God was preparing his journey and where God, where he was going, God was supplying the needs. Yes. So, and that's how, you know, we look at it uh -huh. on that, you know, sense. And then God was bringing people, you know, and Dr. C was, was on the journey looking for people yes, yes. that will, will blend into what we're yeah. doing. And so right. met the people on the internet. Isn't that something? Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Right, right. Because I had been asking around, you know, I, you know, asked around to some of our uh, music, fellow music colleagues. Mm -hmm. And of course, by uh, COVID being prevalent at that time, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of places were shut down and, yes. you know, maybe other dance places wasn't doing anything. And mm -hmm. so, you know, so there's really no way to kind of reach a lot of people. So, right. you know, I just kind of asked around and then, you know, I said, okay, well, you know what? I feel the Lord's directing me to the area of Texas and let me kind of uh -huh. see what's there. So I started mm -hmm. um, looking up dance academies around Texas and the God led me to Fenton's Dance. Academy. Okay. And I talked with the him, the owner, Mr. Fenton, and he was like, oh, we're so excited yeah, about this. We yeah. can't wait. We can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> the young people to be involved exactly oh gosh yes yeah yeah so yeah i began to put it all together and they were excited about it too they were very excited you can see that in the video i mean they are just exuberant and yeah. it's beautiful it's so beautiful oh my gosh yeah so you know like doc c said we, we didn't want to leave nobody out right exactly right. when you bring everybody in together everybody feel a part of what you're doing mm -hmm. and yes. it's, it's a blessing i said it's a holy ghost breakthrough <laughs> <laughs> yeah. absolutely absolutely oh this is this is so good well let's move on to your nonprofit. Mm -hmm. talk about your nonprofit. Sure. Um, our nonprofit, I think we got that. Uh, actually, we had that before right. the church ministry. Right. So, oh, okay. yeah, I yeah. think we got that in around uh, the year 2000. Okay. And we, you know, as always, Sounds of Imani's um, vision uh, has right. been to uh, yeah. do, you know, to give back to the community, to to work in the community and mm -hmm. uh, so we uh, came up with the name Acclaim Community Outreach. Okay. And, um, so we got the we got all of the papers and stuff uh, done, and uh, so we came. We, voila! It's like okay, thank God we have our five hundred one c three now for and, and, that. And God was in that too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's hear no. about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you know, God sent people to. We was looking. You know, Doc C. Mm -hmm. Help us put it together. Put it together, mm -hmm. and then. All of a sudden, we get a phone call. Mm -hmm. He was looking for this, and then Doctor C and yeah. myself got together with the young gentleman. Mm -hmm. uh, to God be the glory, he's gone home. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. but he, he got us started, and yes, he did. Yeah, we we uh, been enjoying it ever since the yeah, work of the yeah, Lord. Yeah, exactly, because we always have a de have had a desire to, um, like I said, do community outreach, and right. uh, so through the nonprofit, we done uh, food distribution and continue to do food distribution. Yeah. Uh, we've done um, outreach events, music outreach events where we take it to the parks. Oh, beautiful. Uh, and to yeah. the areas where people are. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, not only that, we fellowship with other churches. Yeah, you yeah. Know, oh, great. Christmas uh, that we give yes. the children, mm -hmm. uh, Christmas, Christmas gifts, gifts and, yeah. and every kid in the family will get mm -hmm. at least five gifts apiece, no right. matter how many they had. Mm -hmm. And we would great. just, yeah, we just uh, rejoice in that. We've been doing that for yeah. a very long time. And prison outreach. That's awesome. Right. And when you're doing the prison outreach, um, are you going into the prisons? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. And we're actually um, allowed to bring our band with us, so we, um, yeah. you know, yeah, you just yeah. <laughs> you just have to get you're getting checked real good when you go in there. So no doubt about yeah. that, you know, you mm -hmm. have to get Make checked. Make sure that you're clear of everything. And yeah, your your clearance is done, and mm -hmm. so we go in and we take our band and the um, 
the prisoners are so excited that someone is coming to to see them mm -hmm. and yes. bringing them some uh, music words. and word mm -hmm. encouraging words so it's, right. it's 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 just uh when we get there they're waiting for us they already they can't they and they <laughs> and they and they, and they bug the chaplain uh, about oh, yeah. when are they coming back can we get yeah. them to come back we gotta have them come back. <laughs> The line was all the way around the, the building. The gymnasium where they and were. We were oh, like, my goodness. What are they doing? Having uh, lunch time? <laughs> and the chaplain said, oh, no, they, they come were, to they see were you the guys. <laughs> and, uh, and, and through all of that, the, the guys got together. <gasps> and they made a music box. And they, they made it out of marble. And it's her and I sitting on a bench with the Renaissance Center behind us. It's a building downtown in Detroit. Oh. And we wind it up, it plays Endless Love. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 how precious. Yeah. Oh, how precious. What, um, what, uh, is it a, the, the prison that you it go to, is it high security, low security, or high security? Wow. Yeah. yeah. So that you, wow. So these are the long timers in there. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. And they do have different, different levels, levels of, of mm -hmm. prisoners. Mm -hmm. Uh some of them are, you know, they kind of debate whether or not they want to let them come down or whatever. But they did that a couple of times that we were there and the um higher level prisoners really enjoyed it too oh, as well. Yeah. So yeah. they, you know, hey, hey, Doc, yeah. so he told me say, I'm taking you guys to the higher level now. <laughs> I said, I said, oh, we're not worried. We got Jesus. Right. And, and so when they came out, they were more excited. It was like giving them a brand new life. And they was clapping hands and singing with us and, uh -huh. and oh. just, uh, praying for them and, you know, bringing the word to them. And they would just enjoy that. And, you know, you'll get those hardcore crew that will, yeah. you know, they'll, they'll come down and they'll just see what's going on. You know, well, I'm just want to see, and they'll sit there with their arms folded, you know, looking mean and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing, you know, they're kind of like going, <laughs> yeah. and then, uh, you start seeing that wall right, right. kind of kind of fade kind of crumble yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, when i see them doing that I'll, I'll go over and touch them and say god bless you you know god loves you and, they, oh. and then all of a sudden they go <laughs> pretty soon <laughs> i love it i love it i love it god can do that only god that's right yes yes his holy spirit yeah right. oh so awesome <laughs> and how did you get to doing what you're doing with your broadcasting wow we we was doing celestial radio Back then. Uh, yeah, we did terrestrial radio in um, 99, I believe. Okay. We did radio. Um, and we did that for a few years, few up, years. up until 2009. Then we stopped to kind of focus on our music, on our music and stuff and, like that on uh, the and church ministry. Right. And um, okay. then a friend of ours <laughs> got us back into radio, but it was internet radio this time. And he was oh, like, hey. Okay. You need to come see what I'm doing. I, you guys are missing on the on the airways, and you uh -huh. people need to have you come back. Yeah, and it, it was so funny because yeah. he, he was uh -huh. like, I was like he didn't believe it was us. And he like, <laughs> you guys, hey, you you guys are missing on the radio. I'm telling you, uh -huh. what are you doing? You need to come back. Uh -huh. Oh, I was like, hmm, we'll think about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we mm -hmm. thought about it, prayed about it. Then we said, okay, well, we'll come by and see what you're doing, and then. He, you know, he kind of got us into the uh, internet <laughs> radio portion, and okay. we've been doing that uh, now since uh, I believe that we came back on. Was it 2016? Yeah, we uh, came back okay. on 2016. Yeah. yeah, we came back on the airways, but in the form and, of internet radio this right. time. Okay, and okay. Let us to get our own radio station. Yes. Oh, okay. Praise radio. Yes. <laughs> and when did that begin? Well, uh, we're going into now about a, almost a year is and it a, the second year. Going in, about a year radius. and a half. Yeah. yeah. So almost two years. Almost two uh, years. We'll, we'll be going in our two years uh in October, I believe right. it is, for um our own internet radio station. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that is phenomenal. That is just phenomenal. Now you're also doing some television, correct? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. 
Yes, okay. God has blessed us Bless with our, our own TV, TV network. And uh, yes, <laughs> and so, <laughs> I mean, we're just loving what God yeah. is doing. And yes. just seeing the TV network being born out of the pandemic, mm -hmm. because, you know, we were able to, um, you know, sit down and, and God had a strategizing, what do we need to do? What can we do? What should we be doing? Well, we should be reaching the masses. How do we do that, God? Okay, well, you've yeah. got the internet radio, but right. you need visual. And so you need to have your TV network. So he opened up the doorway for us to get that. And, uh, and so, not, and not only that, you got to know that you're hearing from exactly. God. Exactly. Yes. Just, just jump can't just into jump something. Into it. You have to know that you're hearing from Cause God. Because it's a lot to yes, do. Because uh, so God, yes. God will, pro he's the provider. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And people have been seeing us. They're like, you guys are the new kids on the block. We're, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we're going to help you. We're like, well, praise God. <laughs> you know? And we wanted to, to have something where yeah. we bring, um, clean content good mm -hmm. content for people to uh for christians to watch so it's a, yes. it's a christian tv network and uh it's growing and uh so we just love what god is doing we have some mysteries on there and things like uh -huh. that, like sure. maybe sherlock holmes movies or something yeah. like that yeah. you know yeah. old movies. a variety of different things and but for the most part it's clean um you know inspirational mm -hmm. um you know, just thanking God. Some of our church services are on there too, as well. Yes. Yeah. And then we have a variety of music videos as yeah, well. Christian music, music videos yeah, yeah. from inter international to the and USA. And USA. Mm -hmm. So, and we, we get a lot of people that are chiming in, watching the videos, and you know, uh -huh. thanking us for allowing them to uh, give us our music to put on our TV. Mm -hmm. and blessing. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, um, what, how can people find your TV, uh, your TV channel? Great. Well, they can go to Roku. Okay. Uh, because it is viewable on Roku. Awesome. Fire Stick TV, mm -hmm. Apple TV, and uh, Android TV will be coming up. I think it's either going to be that or Google. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, okay. Uh, but, uh, and then mobile apps. So oh. someone can download it. They can go to their i mm -hmm. um, i phone store okay. uh, and download right now praise tv right now praise tv p-r-a-i-z-z -Z. um right now praise tv and they can go, go to their android store which is the google play store and download the app our app to their uh to their android yep. phone and, and so they can do everything that's on there right right awesome awesome uh have what we're doing a preview of our short our film. own short film our right? Own yes short film. yes talk yeah. about your new short film coming yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's been released it's since released, last week right yeah and, and it's talking okay. about, it's our testimony true story of what, version. of what we went through with yeah. the coronavirus you know and Very it's good it's, uh showing the things that we dealt with and how god blessed us to come through it uh -huh. you know so it's very touchy because after we yes because we're we're our own characters in the in the film. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh They're, wow. How do y'all do that? Mm -hmm. And I tell everybody, it's all God. Yeah. You know, right. God, all the glory, all the yeah. glory and the praise. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's oh. viewable now on our TV network because we were trying to find like, okay, God, where do we put it? Because we're trying right. to, and we tried to look up Amazon. <laughs> prime video and it's like by the time we they they changed everything so right. it's like you cannot they don't they don't want short, short films. films okay anymore so, so, so not right now anyway they they were right. taking them but they're right. not taking them now so we're like okay so mm -hmm. then you know um we thought about it well like, maybe well, it doesn't need to be on there maybe it on ours <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go there you go there you go right and, and they can uh out purchase it they as can, well donations they can, yeah that. that's what i was just going to yeah. say they can purchase the film too as well from our mm -hmm. sounds of imani website so it's on there mm -hmm. um and it'll you know when you log in uh, to our site you'll see featured products and that's one of the featured products that we have on there so they can purchase that as well and the name of your film from darkness to light a c19 survival story Awesome. 
That's great. Yeah, see, like I think that is so important for mm -hmm. people to see your story because I, I'm really appreciating the perspective mm -hmm. that you provide of, of it being, I mean, very, very hard for you. Yeah. You know, no, no downplaying the seriousness of what you went through right. and, and the, the pain you went through, mm -hmm. but going into how God carried you and yes. healed you and restored you Man. and it, it it i i think that is just powerful yes and really needed really really needed yeah so Amen. it's a it's a must and you, see and it's yeah, a yes you know it's it's a blessing when people can actually see the power of god and how god bring you through prayer and oh. how you continue to just stay focused on who you are in the lord and how mm -hmm. god yeah promise us because through the video it shows you that god said he'll never leave you nor forsake you so laying in the lying in the bed praying and praying for the nurses you know it's just a blessing what god can do through you you know because i tell everybody i believe god was using me to uh encourage the nurses and to encourage others that yeah. uh going through because it was, was a bad it time was at that hard in the, time in, the hospital. In, in march it was very hard when I, when I got it, I was at home for like three days with 101 temperature. Did, and so my wife was like, hey, let me call the doctor. Let me call because yeah. I went to one hospital they sent him and home. they sent me home. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah and I, 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 <laughs> you could have died. You yeah. know, it's like, yeah. really? sent him home and that yeah. reminds me of that one nurse who got sent home yeah. and she she did wind up passing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's not cool. Yeah. Not at all. Right. And it was very scary for me. I believe it. I was actually seeing people die, you know, mm. on, you at? Yeah. on the floor. And they, you know, it was like, I, I cried, you know, I, I really touched my heart. And then through all of that, to, to knowing that uh, some of the pastors that I heard of over 30 of them died all at one time. Oh. And I was like, oh God, you just, I thank you because you love me. You know, you kept me. You know, right. so I just feel that our ministry is to encourage mm -hmm. uh, the faith uh, that God have given us to have in him, mm -hmm. you know, and to draw us closer to him, you know, so I say through Christ Jesus, we can what do all things that strengthen us. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Carol, that must have been hard for you because were you able to be with him during this time? No, no. And that's when they were not allowing anyone to come in to the hospitals with their loved ones. So that was devastating in itself. And I think we shared some of that in the movie too, mm -hmm. of, you know, my feelings of that one. I'm sitting in the car and I'm saying, you know, I'm talking to them on the phone, like I can't come in, you know? And so, you know, so that was, that was devastating in itself to be separated from your loved one, not being able to see them for almost a whole month. Mm -hmm. And oh, I just gosh. didn't know whether, whether or not they were going to come home or not, because as he was there in the hospital, the progression of his breathing was going down. Oh my goodness. So they were like, well, you know, they wanted to put him on a on ventilator. ventilator and we was like, absolutely yeah. not. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Is yeah. Not yeah. what we want to be doing here. Yeah. No, keep was, him on the oxygen. That, that was one of the first things that they said, go get, let's put him on the ventilator. Like, oh, no. And I, and I was hearing my wife voice in my ear and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. no. They, said, well, they said, well, sir, your oxygen level is yeah. 74. It'll be fine. Keep him, on the, keep him on the oxygen. That is low for you to breathe on your own. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh no. And then they said, well, your blood pressure is 190 nine something oh my gosh blood pressure pills i said i never took anything i'm nope. in health and they say well your your blood pressure up your oxygen is down you know and you you need to take this and i said no they was kept trying to make me get on the ventilator but mm -hmm. i started praying and started yeah. crying out to god mm -hmm. yes so and I, like i said i i thank god every day i wake Amen. up and thank god you know yeah so they didn't uh, know what to do with everyone coming in the hospitals no, like that. No, so they, they were did. just pinning right. over, we'll just put them on the ventilator, but you have less of a chance of survival when on you're the ventilator. on those things. So yeah. if the person is breathing, at least 
treat them like give well, a, in my what I feel, you know, treat them, them like they are asthma patients. And oh, very good. Breathe, yeah. And give them breathing treatments, put them on yeah. the oxygen to help them, you know, right. to, open right. them up. Yeah. 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 One of the things that they was putting people on their back instead of on their stomach. And so you, your, your lungs are on, on your back. And so right. you're squishing your lungs. Yeah. They said, why are you laying on your stomach? I said, so I can breathe. <laughs> they like, what? And so they came back and said, you know, you're right. Uh, everybody need to be on their stomach. Mm -hmm. So it, it was, it was hard. I had some dark nights and man, it yes. was hard. Yeah. Oh wow! When he did come home, he was looking like he was dying. When he did, when he did come home out of the hospital, and it was like he had lost so much weight. Mm. Like, you know, we were like standing there with our mouth open. It's like, you know, my goodness, you know. But, yeah. uh, but God, you know, God, yeah. you know, helped to get him back on his uh, feet, yeah. get him off the oxygen, get him off the blood thinners. <laughs> he came off of all of that. Oh, great. Yeah, like, you're gonna get off that oxygen machine. I said, I gotta breathe. He said, No, you <laughs> know. Yeah. So they prayed, pray again, you know, pray. Yes. And yes. Within two weeks, I was off the machine. Yes. Oh, that's and awesome. I never went back. <laughs> that but is awesome. Yes. And both of my legs, all the blood clogs are gone. Off, oh. off the medication. And everybody look at me, how are you doing that? There are people still going through that. I said it was all God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And I firmly believe that your attitude of worship mm -hmm. has to play, has to be key. Yeah. Yes. Because worship lowers your blood pressure. Yes. It be and it lowers your anxiety. Yes. And it, it it there's so much physical. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the physical is so connected to the spiritual. Yes, yeah. It truly is. Yeah, yes. oh, that's right. true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, gosh, yeah. that is yeah, awesome. The presence of God, the yep. Holy Spirit, just allow it oh. to elevate you mm -hmm. while you're going through. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, Yeah. right. And choosing not to give in to the fear. Right. Yes. You're right, because remember, God didn't give us the spirit of fear. Yeah. That's right. Love and a sound mind. Uh -huh. Amen. So, and we were worshipers way before yeah. we started even, I mean, because we really weren't even thinking about pastoring a church at all. That, that was the <laughs> farthest thing from our minds. We were okay with singing and that was, uh -huh. fun. but we started off as worshipers. Yeah. Right. The Lord. So, you know, so we've always had a heart of worship. Oh, that is I'm that, that I, 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 yeah, that is just key. It yeah. is so key. Yeah, so yeah. you've been mentioning um, your church. Talk about your church a little bit. Um, how did it begin? Did you, and um, where are you at today? Yeah, well, it, it began in our basement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. 2003. Yeah, we were part, like, like I love like, it. We was worshipers, and and people was like, man, you guys are just so blessed. So God was speaking to us. Right. And, uh, someone had spoke a word into our life and said, now it's time that you guys get out of the stable and do church. Mm -hmm. and wow. Then it happened from that and we started developing and we went, believe me, we went through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Can only I, imagine. I tell everybody, if you're not chosen by God, to minister don't just take upon yourself you can do this yeah because you can't it's do it without the holy spirit and without god you know yeah. especially pastoring yeah Ooh. oh that's, <laughs> that's that is a fact yeah that is a fact you did all so we we started uh there at home uh and then uh like you know pastor Gerald said we kind of um branched out and, and uh we rented our first space um in you know, this community center mm -hmm. and we started there and we were there for a number of years. Okay. And, uh, then, you know, we just kind of, you know, wh wherever mm -hmm. God had us to go, we always have rented space or whatever. So mm -hmm. right now, you know, since the pandemic has caused a big, um, big Shut thing down. now, shutting down yeah. everything. Yeah. Well, we said, well, you know, God, what do you, what, what do you want us to do? And, and so he just directed us. We, we came back to the home that we live in now is a lot bigger. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, a lot 
happening. So we have space yeah. here at our home for service. Oh, good. So we yeah. just have a few, you know, people right? you know, standing mm -hmm. within the guidelines of what and, they want. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Put it on Facebook Live, Zoom, yeah. um, mm -hmm. so people can see our mm -hmm. ministry. Yeah. As we present the word, you know. So and it's great that you can still be a minister yeah. through this time, you know. Yes. Just because the doors are closed don't mean you you have to stop. Yes. You know, Absolutely. Continue right. to serve it. You have to serve the people through right. the word of God. Absolutely. You know? So and that's our hearts to continue to serve. Mm -hmm. God didn't didn't let us down, so we can't let God down. We yeah. got to continue to go for. And you can't yeah. wait on a building. You have to just go ahead um you, when we look at the ministry of Jesus um mm -hmm. wherever he went. That was what That's it. right. <laughs> that's where the service <laughs> took place. So, talking to the twos on the shore, mm -hmm. talking yeah. to him inside of a little boat standing there and everybody else is kind of like looking at him. And right. so it's it's you know, and, and it's so nice have, to have a building. It's yeah, nice, it is. It is. But it can't stop you from yeah, that's, ministry. That's my point. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you, you got to go on with the word because mm -hmm. the word is supposed to be where? In us. Yeah. Amen. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. the facility where we were <laughs> at, um, we haven't heard from the gentleman at all. The right. management. So I don't know if he's he okay. Had, he had he's, virus. He too. had the virus too. So, okay. you know, we don't know what happened and the building is not still not open. Right. So, wow. Wow. Well, now we're waiting on the Lord. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You know, you, you, I'm, I'm curious to ask you a question. I'm working on an article. Uh, I'm going to be doing a series on the authority of scripture with Christian women living. Mm -hmm. And I believe you guys have a very unique perspective in this. Mm -hmm. One of the articles that I, I read, um, it was a poll taken. Mm -hmm. And um, when COVID struck, the interest mm -hmm. in reading the Bible skyrocketed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, people were buying Bibles off the shelves in droves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what's very interesting is it was very short lived. They got the Bibles in their hands, but they didn't read them. Yes. 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 And what they began to realize is there is a direct correlation mm -hmm. between engaging your word and attending church. Amen. Mm -hmm. So how have you as pastors been keeping your flock engaged? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, a, good that's a good question. You know, one yes. of the things I, I know yeah. we do Bible study, you know, okay. over the internet as well. Mm -hmm. We do Bible study and mm -hmm. we'll allow our church to uh, ask questions that they don't know and we'll give them the word and, mm -hmm. and they start telling people about the ministry, how good the word is mm -hmm. and, you know, right. just keep them on fire for God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we remind them, don't let your flame go out you know, allow the anointing to continue to uh, be in you, you know, because mm -hmm. the word, we, we, we open with the word, we explain it, we break it down because sometimes, you know, doing in layman's turn, you have to make it where people understand the word of God, mm -hmm. you know, yes. can't, can't be a theologian and start talking to the people who trying to know God. Right. That's the difference. They're like, what that big word mean? You know, mm -hmm. but, you know, Jesus didn't do that, you know? No. <laughs> No, that that's where the parables came in, right? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Amen. Exactly. Amen. So, <laughs> so those are the things that you know we're teaching our members. Right. More of an interactive. I guess we have more of an interactive engagement mm -hmm. with 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 our people, you know, and that I think is key. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's what is missing, right, uh, in a lot of things because. Um, even when we talk to friends of ours who have been um, members at, you know, larger church ministries and things of that nature, and they'll say like, wow, I don't, I just don't, nobody won't call me or nobody, you know, and so these mm -hmm. things are, you know, just things that I believe that are missing in the body mm -hmm. of Christ. So I think the difference right. with us is that we have more of an interactive right. approach. I think we're more accessible. We're mm -hmm. communicative with Mm -hmm. so not just just only our members, but 
just overall, you know, right. if someone's watching the ministry or Bible study online, we're right. interactive with them. And one um, of the things that we do find out, you know, just like you expect them to listen to you, uh -huh. mm -hmm. we need to listen to them mm -hmm. to hear their hearts, mm -hmm. you know, right. because sometimes they want to say something, but mm -hmm. they're afraid. So when you be open with them mm -hmm. and you communicate with them, transparent, transparent and have a one-on-one -on -one and let them, Hey, we're, even though we're pastors, we're human, mm -hmm. you right. know, want you to know that. So don't be afraid to talk to us. Don't be right. afraid, you know, if it's something that, you know, God put in your heart to ask mm -hmm. us, ask us, you know, cause right. the words say you have not cause what you ask not, mm -hmm. you know, so. God didn't tell us not to ask. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, yeah. Then, you know, yeah. and then with the pandemic too, like you said, a lot of people were going and, oh, let me go buy a Bible. Oh, I got to, you know, because then it started clicking in. And this was something that we, we even did a, um, a Bible study on that where uh -huh. you know, a lot of people were like, oh my God, it's the Armageddon. It's the, it's, oh, you God. know, and so people are generally like, oh, let me go buy a Bible. Let me go this because now it's kicking they're, in they're like, afraid. oh my God, is this the fear factor? Right. You know? Right. And right. so we taught a Bible uh, class on the, the fact of knowing what's going on right now. We know that these are the last days. Perilous times are here. All yeah. kinds of things are going to happen during the perilous times. This is not the Armageddon. Right. <laughs> this right. Is close to Amen. it. <laughs> if you don't, if you, if you see what's going on now with just the wars, rumors of wars, plagues, pestilences, and things that that'll be going mm -hmm. on before Christ comes back, mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to be here <laughs> for what's right. going to be coming on exactly. after he comes to get his church back. So we had to kind of explain those things to a lot right. of people. You know, right. A lot of people were fearing, oh my God, right. we're left here. It's the, just the, you know. You know, no. they, they look at the movies and say, oh, I'm going to be left behind. Oh, <laughs> I said, uh, nobody knows the time nor the, the hour. Right. When right. The shall come. I said, so, but the Lord told us what? To prepare ourselves. Yep. You know, right. when that time come, they we shall be so ever ready. Uh -huh. you right. know, let them know. Don't be afraid. You know, don't don't allow the adversary to speak negative in your thoughts. I said right. because you have to know who's speaking to you. Yeah. You know, I yeah. said so. There's a difference. I said you have to walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. Yes, that's right. So, and you know, and then uh, one of my main things I I tell you I, I believe is in the Psalms. 27 songs and the words say fret not thyself mm -hmm. of those evildoers because they will soon be cut down as the mm -hmm. green herb but then i said the main word to that is fret yeah identify don't worry uh -huh. right know, fret not thyself don't worry you know right. God got you god got this so why are you worried when you know god is still uh -huh. in control yeah that's right that's right he's on the throne he's sovereign yes he is, absolutely he absolutely. has not stopped loving that's amen. impossible because he amen. is love amen right so it's just kind of engaging people mm -hmm. and i think that's what um the key is and, and we've been doing that you know and um, trying to engage with mm -hmm. people and you know if they have any questions we always tell them you know uh, you don't have to be a member of our church to ask questions if you want right. to inbox us you know ask us some questions or whatever you think something uh you need something clarified um to the best of our ability we will try to do that mm -hmm. so you know make sure you inbox us with your yeah. questions and, and you know and what's so amazing about it we have our people from uh Africa chiming in the Bible study. Yeah, in, India. India. Right. And them chiming in and they just be praising they God. They are really being blessed. They're excited by about the word. They're excited about how we pray for them mm -hmm. during the course of the Bible study. You know, so we just give them the whole, you know, thing of, of what God wants us to do and how we need to be Christians, not so called Christians, but yeah. Christians. Yes. You know. Yes. Right. That's something that we've been talking a lot about at our church, a couple different things. One is the difference between cultural Christianity yes. and actual Christianity. Yes. yes. Um, and then the other thing, which really ties in with what you're talking about 
with the worship is is the presence of god mm. yeah having the presence of right. god amen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In. that's right yes that's right that's first amen. and foremost in anything uh that you yeah. do because um even in the uh biblical summations of a lot of scriptures they were um before the battle uh happened the worshipers came out yes. and worshiped yeah. before the armies the israel army went out to battle mm -hmm. so worship is important and it does set the pace it sets the atmosphere for whatever god wants to do and how he wants to move amen and, and right. worship does a shifting Mm -hmm. in your spirit mm -hmm. you know and, and in the atmosphere it kind of shift things you be you you being opening up you're allowing the holy spirit to enter in the presence of god and uh somebody may come in and have some issues going on mm -hmm. but when that worship comes they start doing a breaking and a shifting mm -hmm. you know begin to receive god even more uh, allowing be, to be open for god to yes. come, to enter in so it's powerful mm -hmm. oh know? yeah Oh yeah, that's so good. That is so good. Wow. I want to check real quick and see if we have anybody who's left any comments okay. or has any questions for you. Mm -hmm. so, ah, let's see here. I just want to check here. Uh, let's see. There it is. Let me just check and see. Okay. Gonna take a second here. Well, welcome to Breathe Life Ministries expert. There we go. Okay. Well, we I'm not seeing any questions as of yet, but that's okay. That's why this discussion is absolutely phenomenal. Um let me see. Let's go to your education. You're both doctors. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> that is not something right. you see every day no that, it, it yeah. was a surprise for us oh, because yeah. we got an email saying that um hi you it's have Christian been University. uh recommended for an honorary doctorate uh of divinity degree and uh we do you accept and we were like yes we accept you know this is like so we don't know who yeah and they, they who recommended it we they, they did a lot of research on us our work yeah in the lord what we our do, community work community and work studies and, and, and studies stuff like and that ministering yeah. to the people of god yeah and they was like wow you guys are well qualified you know oh, so, yeah. but just you know giving god the glory every step he yes. I tell everybody he orders our steps yes we definitely do yes you know so we had yeah. to go to yeah. jacksonville florida for okay. um St. Thomas Christian University that's okay. in, uh, in Jacksonville. And so mm -hmm. we attended the, the ceremony and everything and we had the robes and everything. It was so exciting and uh, wow, we're very grateful for that. So it just oh, tells you that God will reward you if you yes. humble yourself before mm -hmm. him, stay humble before him and continue doing what you're doing in spite of what's going on around you you yeah. just get, let your focus be there god will reward you he, uh, mm -hmm. you know so he's a rewarder of those that diligently serve Sirs. him amen right. oh that what a beautiful testimony when did that happen how long ago did that happen 2019 yep, 20. it was actually 2019 early early before before the pandemic yeah. hit isn't that so wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I think it was uh was it January, January or February when the uh, it was between January and February when the um the ceremony took place. Yeah. Okay. And right after that, we got home for about like a month, and COVID then it just hit. It just went wham. Yeah. Yep. Like, we was like, wow, that is really yeah. strange. Mm -hmm. And I tell folks, I say, I believe that was a time. It's a time where people be drawing to God you know, the relationship with God to make mm -hmm. uh, people start praying right. more and interceding Well, we more. actually meant to say January, 2020. Yeah. Because COVID was March, 2020. So I meant to say yeah. oh, sure. between January and February, 2020, not 2019, 2020 right. it, yeah, that but, we did get the, yeah, um, yeah. And like I said, I was like, even when I was in the hospital, uh, mm -hmm. nurses say, 
you going to pray for me? I said, yeah, you don't even know me. So why are you going to pray for me? I said, listen, I don't have to know you to pray for you. Right. This is something that God have ordained me to do for you. Oh. I said, so can we pray? And she said, sure. Oh. When I got through praying for her, the Holy Spirit was all in her heart. And she left out and was telling all the nurses about, see that guy in there, he's sick and he's still praying for people. Is he all right? <laughs> Hey, praise God, you know, and I was letting her know what happened. She's like, wow, but God put you on a mission, honey. To yeah. Them, you know, and to be a blessing to them. And, and you know, I, I always had an encouraging word for them because the head nurse come in. She said, you know, nobody prayed for us. Nobody. She said, so I'm accepting this as a calling from God that you're praying for the nurses because a lot of them wanted to quit. A lot of them was hurt. A lot of them were, they got the nurses. And I was just listening to them telling me. Right. Like, wow. I said, but be encouraged. I said, you are an angel that God appointed to watch over all of us. Oh, man. Made them want to keep on serving and keep uh -huh. on blessing. Right. Yeah. So it was an experience for uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. you know, Definitely. Some Definitely. I wanted me to see and to know. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. This is just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. This is a, such a beautiful discussion. <sighs> Praise God. Praise God. So what do you see for 2021 and, and moving forward? Well, I, I see a lot of testimonies coming out of this, uh -huh. you know, mm. God have uh, transformed a lot of people who uh, really didn't have their mindset on that. You know, yeah. because I tell a lot of people, I said, there's a purpose in you and mm -hmm. God is going to bring it out, but you have to let him. So I, I'm looking for more testimonies on how God blessed the people of God, yeah. how their hearts was encouraged to trust God more. And uh, I'm, we're looking for a revival. Yes, <laughs> it's needed. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I, I think that too, um, with 2022, uh, getting ready to approach. Mm -hmm. so I think that um, you're going to see somehow some folks will probably try to go back to the norm. Yeah. I don't think that's going to work. I really don't. I don't think going back to the norm because there's so much that has happened that is that people have been now, um, you know, steered in different directions um, because now we have more work at home situations than we mm -hmm. had before when True. a lot of businesses were, were businesses were telling people oh you can't work from home you can't mm -hmm. do that right now guess what they're working from home yeah, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. so yeah. a lot has changed so i don't <laughs> think that it will it will be mm. back to the norm as what we thought before previously pre covid Mm -hmm. so I think it's going to be a lot of difference in, in yeah. how things are going to be done. Right. And when yeah. you look at it, even through the Bible, when things happen, did nothing go back to the norm? Yeah. No, yeah. no. Yeah, well, thing. and in, you know, I mean, there's certain things that, you know, you don't want to see change like our freedoms and whatnot, mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. but there are certain things that have come out of this that are really interesting. Like you bring up. Mm -hmm. businesses that at one time were not amicable towards people working from home exactly uh -huh. that allows for families to be back together again uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. mother you know and and uh you know you're not i remember when i was a single mom back in 2002 i spent I had three children in daycare it was over 1500 dollars a month oh wow, wow. I, and, and, and so that's a huge expense, oh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes. not to mention just, it's not the ideal, even if they're in a really good daycare, uh -huh. it's right. still not the ideal. It's still not right. that one-on-one -on -one that you have right. with your mom and your dad. Right. right? right. Yeah. You know. So I think there's a lot of good things, good things. Sure. That, have really come yeah. from know, homeschooling home, yeah homeschooling yeah. is another one yeah. right yeah. right you know yeah and it, it's it's teaching us how to be stronger 
you know, mm -hmm. in, in our faith and what we do and how we handle things, you know, because you like we were saying, you can't go back to the norm because mm -hmm. like you're saying, child care, it, it's, it, it ain't going to be like that no more. Right. And then while you're having your business at home, you're being more creative. You're having uh -huh. more time value is so important now because uh -huh. mm -hmm. well, I have time. I don't have time, but now God showed you have to seize the time and reduce right. the time, yeah. you know, and make, make use of it, you know, so right. you have to set it up now uh, to be better than it was previously. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we can do greater things, you know, greater things. Exactly. Yeah. I was just going to say that greater things have come forth from this mm -hmm. too, as well. Um, mm -hmm. where now, you know, maybe at one point people were kind of laid back laid back, and maybe they were kind of dissatisfied with their mm -hmm. jobs, you Angry. know, like, like, oh God, I'm here, you know, and it's like, so now there's a, cre God has blessed us to all be creative people. We're, we created in his image. Mm -hmm. He's creative. And so are we. Right. Right. And so now it's like, okay, wow. I didn't know I could do this. Oh my God, right. I'm doing this now. I've got my own business. Right. I'm doing that. I didn't think that this would happen. Yeah. Because now you you're pushed from that comfort zone, mm -hmm. you're from the mm -hmm. norm and yes, settling yes. into the norm. And I'm just satisfied. I'm kind of satisfied, but I'm not satisfied. Mm -hmm. But then now God says, okay, here, let me give you a little push out of the nest. Yeah. So, <laughs> I like that. This, this is a push out of the nest. So and now that's you're, how the you're bird doing does. The yeah. bird push yeah. the bird. You're out flying of the nest. and you're going to different doing different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bird says it's time to get out. Your creativity. Yeah. So when they get out of the nest, they flop them wings. Yeah. They, got to, they got to put some power behind that, you know. And yeah. Yeah. Themselves and saying, hey, you know, God, I, I see where you want me to do with this mm -hmm. thing. And it puts a rejuvenating spirit back into the people saying, yes. well, that they thought they couldn't do it, but now they know they can do it. Uh -huh. You know, right. you know they're praying more. They're talking to God more. Yeah. And uh, like Rebecca say, write the vision and make Thank it plain. Mm. Wait on God. Yeah. You know, for Him to give you another direction on how to elevate what you're doing. You know. Oh yeah. Those are some new things for 2022. Uh, you know, people. You know, not not. You know, you can't go back to the norm if you're. Right. If God has placed you on a different playing field, and now you're mm -hmm. doing like your some of your own things, to, your creative abilities that you never really tapped into, that they were there but they were dormant. Mm -hmm. because right. You, we were just satisfied with just where we were, or we were just too. What's the word I want to use? Um, uh, to um, mobilize where we're, we're scared to launch out. Right. Scared to right. do it. Mm -hmm. And so now it's like, I have to do this. Right. And now that you have to do this and you've got that push. I could have been doing this years ago. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, you so know, I, I wasn't aware it. that I could do this. And that brings back to the word fear. Yeah. God didn't give you that fear. So we That's allow right. fear to be planted in us and mm -hmm. so now god have to uh, bring something to break fear out of us mm -hmm. that we can elevate and go to the next level and i was talking to this guy the other day i said uh -huh. i said listen to this this is something that the lord put in my spirit i say uh -huh. we're we're like a, a pair of trousers uh-huh you want them to look good when you put them on but before you put them on what you have to do iron out the wrinkles I say, so God is ironing out the wrinkles in our life that we can look good. We can be uh, where he wants us to be, dress us up, you know, and, and let you know that God don't want you to be wrinkled down. He wants you to get up. Right. You know? Remember, Jesus got up. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. and I, it's a good thing to let us know that what we can get up, mm -hmm. you know, right. that's powerful. You know, he was like, I never looked at it like that. And I said, yeah, I said, but we all have things in our life that need to be ironed out. Right. Yeah. Right. So when God begin to iron out the wrinkles, we, we're going to look good and, and do good. Amen. That is so, that is an excellent, excellent word. I really like what you're saying in that don't be thinking about going back to normal. Right. Allow this, this trial that we've been through mm -hmm. to propel us forward. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's power. Take, right? take the good that is that has been developed in you 
uh-huh. and move forward with it. Yes. 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 Amen. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's it. You yeah. hit it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is excellent. Yeah, because I mean, I you know, I think about how you know when the um, Israelites were released from from Egypt, yes. uh-huh. there was points where they were like, well, let's just go back. Yeah. Let's just go back, and yeah. that's over. That's done. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Home is this way. That's right. (laughs) God didn't take you out of something to take you back to something. Yeah. You know, when he take you out of it, the door is closed. So don't even think about going back. Yep. Because God said, no, if you go back, you on your own. Right. I'm taking you forward. So let's do this. Yeah. That's, that's how God wants us to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the, uh, the, um, thing too about that those that were still wanting to hold on and go back to the past Mm -hmm. and go back to what we were doing formerly even Mm -hmm. though it wasn't exactly good for you in Mm -hmm. some way you know but you were willing they were willing to I'll go back I don't want to move forward (laughs) because I don't know what to expect and I don't and and why are we following him and he's taking us and you know it's like okay so now you want to continue to hold on to the past well then you're gonna wander around in the wilderness Mm -hmm. yeah and you're not gonna you know you're not gonna experience the new things because you're still wanting to look back and you Mm want to hold on to those old reins instead of allowing God to launch you forward into where you need to be Mm -hmm. for greater victory Mm -hmm. for the presence of the Lord so you know yeah a lot lot in that yeah yeah definitely right you got to be able to you know let God move in you yes don't don't get to be stubborn. No, it ain't no. God told us to speak to ourselves, prophesy to ourselves. Right. And what do you say? Uh, speak to yourself. You know, uh, speak to the mountain; it shall be moved. You uh-huh. got to open your mouth. You got to say, "I can do this." You know, I can do it, God. Yeah. I, I feel you. I understand it now. Yes. You know, it's that word of wisdom, because He said we perish from a lack of wisdom and knowledge. So. God don't want us to be ignorant. He wants us to learn, you know, to constantly seek him, constantly know that there is something that God has for you and I Uh to do. That is so good. That is so good. You know, um, it reminds me of something, again, that we were talking about at our church um, last Wednesday. And that is sometimes we overthink things Mm -hmm. rather than just going out and doing yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you you all have launched four ministries. Mm-hmm. And how did you how did you you obviously did not allow yourself to be trapped by overthinking? Mm-hmm. Right. What was the key for you? God timely management. <laughs> God oh. timely management. Putting everything into perspective and giving the am- ample amount of time for each thing and not worrying about, um, you know, God, oh, how am I going to do this? Or God, yeah. I don't have the money for this. Or God, I'm not going to, you know, if he launches you into it, he's going to make a way mm-hmm. for you to do what you need to do. Mm-hmm. So the trust in God, the faith in God has to be there and then just not worry about it. Just, you know, you, yeah. you know, just allow God to move and have his way in that. And then you manage your time accordingly mm-hmm. uh, with every facet of that uh, to give equal amount of time to each thing. You know, mm-hmm. um, you, you know, all of our children are grown pretty much right mm-hmm. now. But, mm-hmm. you know, back in the day, it was mm-hmm. like, oh. We got to get the kids time. We got to get the, we definitely got to get the church time. We definitely got to give time for this. And, and so it was just kind of just making sure that yeah. everything was, and, was there. And God know you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because. And he, we took our children will, everywhere. Right. And God will not put, <laughs> put nothing more on you that you cannot bear, you know? So and as we're going, when our kids are with us, we're teaching them. When you know, right. And how we're enjoying serving God. See, because a lot of people are like, oh, I can't do that. I can't. Oh, yes, you can. You can do it. You know, it's, it's godly time management. You know, you, God is in everything that you do. Uh-huh. Joyfulness, the, the good, the bad, 
you know, I said the word, say what? Thank God and what? Through all things, yeah. not some, but thank God in all things, you know? So when God is in it, it's just going to work. You know, you can't kick God out of something that you may think is yours. Everything belongs to God. Yeah. Everything. True story. I like, I like how you phrase that too. God timely management. Yes. Because I've noticed this with the Lord when I'm like, Lord, I've got all these things in front of me and I, and he's, and all of a sudden it's just like, he opens the time up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He's like, here's your time. Here's your time. Here's your time. I'm like, only you can do that because I wouldn't have found it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. hey, man, that is so true. You know, cause we look at all the things that we have done and we're like, wow. That is amazing because, you know, when you're mm -hmm. focusing on what God told you to do, you don't have time to think about all of that. You know, you're, you're focusing on where God is taking you, you know, and God, he said he will take you there, but you got to trust him. You got to right. believe in him. You got to stay focused. You know, and I tell everybody, I say, when God, you got to stay focused. Uh, don't go on Crooked Boulevard. Stay on Straight Street. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> <laughs> like wow i said yeah i know that's heavy but stay on straight street don't go on crooked boulevard mm. <laughs> too much happening on crooked boulevard <laughs> yeah, I said, so let god order your steps and, and me and my wife we always laugh we, and somebody said well, i'm a, i'm gonna I'm a let god be in the co-pilot i said no god got to be the pilot yes be the pilot. I, 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 don't want, I don't want I don't want to be God to be the co-pilot because I, I may not go the right way. God, but then let him be in the pilot seat. Let him take you where you need to be. That's right. Yeah. You know, while he's taking you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I love that. I love and it's so true. Oh my gosh. I do not want to fly this airplane. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, well, this has been absolutely awesome. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. And, and I would love to have you both back. I, there's so many more things I would love to discuss with you. Absolutely. Oh, that would be fantastic. That would be just fantastic. So with, um, we're going to go ahead and close this down, but what is one last closing thought you'd like to leave? Well, one thought is never quit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Never quit. quit. And stay focused. Mm -hmm. Oh, so um, good. That is so important because so many times we can, people can get drawn this way, drawn in that direction because of the, um, because their focus is more on the surroundings and what's mm -hmm. going on and, and, and everything. And then the focus tends to get off of what, what's my main focus. I'm, I, I'm trying to get my focus in on God. I'm trying to get my focus in on where I need to be in God and do the things he's called me forth to do. So you have this situation comes up, that situation comes up. It's easy to get distracted, mm -hmm. but we can't allow the distractions of this life to get us entangled and i think there's a scripture to that uh as, mm -hmm. as well a good yeah. soldier doesn't get entangled in the affairs mm -hmm. of this life so you mm -hmm. you have to keep yourself from getting entangled in those things and know that even if there are difficulties god works them out you just yeah. got to stay focused in him and that's the key right there if the if mm -hmm. the enemy can get you off of focus mm -hmm. you're going to be pulled in different directions and all kind of you're going to be in a tailspin in a whirlwind but mm -hmm. if you focused on god let your mm -hmm. eye be single that you can see what's ahead of you in god yeah and you know I, I tell a lot of people you know you're going to have points in your life where it's going to look Absolutely. like you can't do it it's mm -hmm. going to look like you can't make it but mm -hmm. when hearing the word from god never quit uh -huh. keep, right. keep going because you know, at the end of that road, God is there waiting for you. Absolutely. You know, okay. because the word said the race is not given to the swift, but those that endure to the end. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep going yeah. no matter what Step come at you, you know, yeah. and just go for it, you know, because, mm -hmm. hey, God gets the glory and you get the victory. 
Amen. Amen. So good. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to Facebook. Right. Um, leave your comments, everyone. If you're watching this on the recast, please leave your comments. We will respond to them. Um, and I will be placing all of the different contacts, uh, your, your web pages and that in uh, the comments. And um, so that if you want to reach out to, um, to Carol and Gerald Irvin, uh, you certainly can. And um, thank you so much. This has just been awesome. Amen. Oh, yes, we, we enjoyed this. Thank you for having us a part Amen. of this. Definitely appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm going to go ahead and find my little, there it is. It keeps disappearing on me. Okay, Facebook, we will see you again.